Great morning, everyone. How are you all doing? Happy Tuesday. This is your girl, Shan. I hope all is well. You done got up with a positive mind on this morning. Um, first off, like I do every Tuesday, it's been a while, but I want to thank you for joining us last night on our radio show, Marriage Mondays with the Kings. We truly appreciate it. We thank you for the comments. We thank you for the feedbacks. We thank you for the information that has already been provided in regards to next week's show, the questions and things like that. So if you happen to have any questions about being a, a blended family, becoming a blended family, working through whatever and then go ahead and send us a message. You know, we'll respond back. I still got to respond back to the ones from last night. But thank you so much. We truly appreciate your support and all you do. Let me go ahead and get into today's topic. First, let me apologize for being just a tad bit like, baby, one thing. Thank you, Cousin Kim. Hey, Brandy. One thing I am not going to do. I don't, I'm not that person that's going to be driving and trying to talk to y'all at the same time. The devil is a lie and I don't like distractions. So, so I had to put my little message out there that I was run a little bit behind so I can get to my destination safely. <laughs> Brandy, you're funny. But let me get into today's message, right? Today's topic, this good old topic. How is it that everybody else know that you're messing up in your marriage but you? Okay. Um, This can relate to, to everybody. Have you ever had somebody that comes and they ask you for your opinion? Good morning, Miss Bernadette. They ask you a question and for your opinion. And of course, well, I ain't gonna lie, I used to be slick at the tongue back in the day, so I ain't no telling what I allowed to say. But I try to give some good, you know, wholesome advice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, Brandy, I gotta check that. So good, wholesome advice, right? But do you, have you ever just had somebody, they come and they ask you for your opinion, your question, have you had this experience, been through, or whatever the case may be, but they always got the answer to the question. I always got the answer. Anything you say, they have the answer to the question. But that irritates my soul. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the type of person, when it come to time, good morning, DD, congratulations. When it come to time, baby, I don't like nobody wasting my time. So if you're going to ask me some questions, then at least be mature enough to hear my response and take it into consideration. Maybe the response will be for you, maybe not. Good morning, Tisha. Hey, Lori. Okay, now this is what I don't understand. How is it that people in your marriage can see, or in your relationship, maybe you dating, they can see that you messing up, okay? I know it used to be guys that I used to see, especially when I was in the military, and you got a beautiful wife, you got a beautiful family, and I'm not saying all military men is like this, you know, some people be in their feelings. Beautiful wife, beautiful family, the whole nine. But here you are talking with another guy talking about, um, yeah, I met this chick last night because I went to the bar after work and this and this. And I'm just looking like, are you serious right now? Like, this is what you're doing? Or even females. I'm going to be straight. Oh, I got me a good man and everything at home. But baby, sometime I need a challenge. Okay, what did you get married for? And I sit up and I wonder, when, when you ask somebody and somebody comes to you or, or they come to you and say, look, I'm not trying to get in your business or anything, but you might want to consider that what you have at home. Because see, these are usually the individuals that once your tail and it got caught up and you going down divorce road, you got your lips stuck out or you trying to attack your spouse, uh, talking bad about him or talking bad about her. They was never good, whatever the case may be. And I often ask, I say, God, why is this? Why is it like this? Where people, you got you a good whole husband at home. You heard me? You got you a good whole wife baby she holds you down she got your back she might even get up cook breakfast for you in the whole time whole nine and you sit up acting crazy so i had to take it to the lord and i said lord why is it that people do this you have a good thing uh was that shirley murdoch who you sing that song y'all got to forgive me i love music okay so if i happen to call out but i'm thinking about that song you had a good thing and you lost it i think my mama used to play that on records or something <laughs> but anyway you have you a good thing and you messing it up. Then you get mad when people tell you you messing up. Don't nobody want to listen to the older folks nowadays. In this generation, everybody know everything. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you can't tell them nothing. No, they get easily offended. Okay. So why is it God? That has been my prayer. 
And the scripture that popped in my head, good morning, Kevin, how you doing, sir? Is the pride comes before fall. Pride comes, that doggone thing called pride will get you caught up in your marriage, okay? Don't be all prideful thinking that. Good morning, I can't shoot. Oh, yeah, but when I was single, I can juggle having three or four men at one time. Or when I was single, I could juggle having three or four women. But, um... Now, I think I still got it. No, you still stupid. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know y'all girl, Shan. I'm sorry, not sorry. Y'all know Shan is straight up, okay? Do not um take advantage of that in which God has blessed you with. Okay, you right, Thesha. That in which God has blessed you with. And this is what I encourage married, married individuals to do. And for those who are single, put this away in your little golden nugget box, baby fool, after you say I do, okay? This is what I encourage you to do. Check in with your spouse from time to time to see how you're doing as a wife. Check in to see how you're doing as a mother. See, don't nobody want to hear this because what we don't want to hear is when we doing wrong or when we not doing something right. Then that's when we get in our feelings. And, and look here, look here, Mary, folks, look here. If I ask my husband, baby, how am I doing as your wife? And me and my husband have done this over the last 20 years. And maybe it was the military because we used to check in with soldiers and blah, blah, blah. Baby, how am I doing as your wife? And if it was anything that you can change that I do that irritates your soul, what is it? And my husband would tell me, or he may say, baby, you doing good. See, don't nobody want to ask your spouse that because they may say you got a nasty attitude. You always in your feelings. You always snapping on me. You belittle me. You make me feel less than. You see what I'm saying? They might bring this and what I need you not to do because when you are mature enough, let me go ahead and holler at somebody to ask these questions what am i doing wrong or you know what could what would you change or what can i do to be a better wife or husband you know vice versa change it up you got to be mature enough to receive the answer in which they say don't be so what what you talking about that you don't like when i call you and and you call me and I don't answer the phone. Well, what about in 1982 when you did? Baby, don't go to the grocery list. Don't go to, don't do that. Be mature enough to have that conversation. Good morning, Miss Dillian. Because see, this is what bothers me right here. You don't want feedback from your spouse, right? From your husband or your wife. But baby, and this is what God brought him to my mind this morning. I said, God, you shall sure right. You right. Let it be on that job. And it's around a uh, uh, promotion time or you got a, uh, uh, they got a job vacancy or something like that. Or it's your end of the year evaluation. Cause I used to do some of those on employees, your end of the year, baby, you, uh, yeah, excuse me, Miss King. Can you let me know, uh, the feedback and what I could do to, to, to be better and more proficient at my job. So you mean to tell me you would do that when it comes to some coins, but you won't do that when it comes to your marriage. And this is the person that's supposed to be with you for the rest of your life why can't we do that and then i was thinking about well why don't we have asked for feedback in church and then i came to the realization we ain't gonna ask for no feedback in church because baby somebody say some church we don't like if we keep it real we church hopping on to the next church because i can't believe he or she said that you know what i'm saying so i need you if you are married if you've never done this Ask your spouse, because see, this is something that I see in working with couples, okay? Married couples, marriages and couples. This is something that I see. What ends up happening is the person, one or the other spouse does not have a voice. That's what we call it in the counseling world. You don't have a voice. And what that means is your spouse may be the more aggressive one, and you don't say anything to your husband or your wife and you're not able to open up and tell them how you feel because you know that they're going to bite your head off, okay? Which shouldn't be so because in, if anything, if you should be able to talk to anybody, you should be able to talk to the person that you lay your head down beside every day. You know, this ain't the old days where the husband slept in one bedroom and the wife slept in the other. We ain't in them days. We ain't in them times. So you should be able to have that open dialogue with your spouse. But what I've seen too often in working with couples is that one person regressed. Good morning, Angelia. How you doing, boo? One person regressed. 
regress. Say me as the wife, I feel like I can't talk to my husband. So I regress. And I just don't say anything to kind of keep the peace in the house. Who am I talking to on this morning? Okay? But after so many years of keeping the peace, one or two things is going to happen. You either going to pop off and you're going to go all the way left and show your whole backside. Or you won't get tired of being in that marriage because you're going to feel like you're in bondage and you're not able to talk to your spouse. So I encourage you. That's why I say just ask your baby. You know, don't ask them when they high strung and stressed out the job. Everybody getting on their nerves. Don't ask them then. But ask them when you on your day night. Baby, can I ask you a question? So I just want to check in with you. You can use these terms because that's a counseling term. Um, I just want to check in with you. And I want to ask you, what, it, what could I do better as your wife? If it was anything, baby, that I could change, you know, what would it be? And like I always encourage people, when you talk to your spouse, put some sugar on it. Don't be talking to them with no attitude. And this is what I need you to do. An effective part, the most important part of communication is listening. It's not talking, it's listening. Like they used to tell us in the church, that's why God created us with two ears and one mouth so you could do more listening and less talking. Okay, listen to what they say and hear their heart. You know, baby, uh, I don't like when you do this because it reminds me when my mama used to do it. Okay, just listen, all right? So I just want to drop some little words of wisdom and inspiration on today. I'ma go ahead and go. I'ma get off of here, whatever, for my battery die on y'all <laughs> but y'all have a blessed day don't let anybody steal your joy be a blessing and not a curse i say that every day shirt is because it's free thank y'all for everybody it was up like 15 16 17 shirts on yesterday's video and i thank y'all for helping us to get the word out because y'all don't know who is going through in their marriage baby and let me tell you it's a lot of people going through in their marriage and in their family okay so we me and me, me and my husband can't do this by ourselves so we just just ask that you would just share as well. Okay, come on, uh, IT Lolo. That's what I'm talking about. See, they had the conversation. That's why they in the double digits. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. And your girl Shannon be back with y'all tomorrow with whatever God placed in my heart. God bless.